Well, fine, Google, I'll just make my own YouTube with blackjack and... Algorithms suck. Algorithms get in between you and your favorite creators. They're gatekeepers. I smash bell icons and yet I get precious few alerts from all the channels I follow. These are close friends of mine. I only ever seem to see that they have new content to share when I see them share that content on social media off of YouTube. But we can still get around the YouTube algorithm using some fun old tech, RSS. Why deal with Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or threads telling you what's cool when you can create a stream of your own favorite content. We're going to use a free RSS feed reader. This is an open source app called Feeder. It's really plain, it's really simple, and it's great for creating a simple platform to read content and watch videos. I'll have a link down in the description where you can install Feeder. Now I'm using F-Droid to keep up with a lot of my favorite open source apps. It's like an alternative app store which focuses on open source software. I've never had any issues with F-Droid, but if you're concerned about having another app store on your phone, you can also just download Feeder and sideload it yourself. Now I'm gonna set this up fresh on my Pixel Fold, so it might look a little different on your phone screen, especially if it's not a mini folding tablet. Opening the app, it's Totally empty. There is no algorithm spoon feeding you the content. We're going to tap the three dot menu and select add feed. Then we switch to our YouTube app and look up a channel we like. I like this old cranky guy who likes to wear hats and yell at kids to get off his tech lawn. When we find the channel, we click on the three dots there and select share then copy link. We switch back to feeder and paste that link in the feed URL. Now the channel link is not the RSS feed, but feeder will look at the channel and then find the RSS feed for you. We'll see this link pop up over here after the search and we see feeds and XML. That's the YouTube channel's RSS feed. Tap on that link and we get our sync options. I would highly recommend adding a tag like tech genius awesome guy. But seriously, adding a tag will organize your websites and videos. If you're in the mood for movie news, you can browse those channels and sites. If you're in the mood for tech reviews, you can keep that separate. Or you can just browse everything in one big bucket all at the same time. Some of those other options, fetch full articles. I like that to keep the browsing simpler in feeder, but it is also nice to visit the actual site and contribute to traffic and ad revenue. But you can also customize how that feed uses the app or your default browser for different sites and different kinds of content. We hit okay, and a split second later, all the recent videos or posts will show up and you've got a clean layout free of other distractions to browse through. Feeder has options to sync content. At its most aggressive, it can make sure you're never more than 15 minutes behind your favorite channels posting new stuff. A huge perk for me is sometimes I'm getting those bell notifications like two days later with settings to control when you update based on data connections and when you switch phones, you can take your whole collection of sites and tags, you can save it as a backup and transfer that to a new phone. It's free, it's fast, it's really clean and it keeps you up to date way better than YouTube's bell icon. And thank you, for coming to my tech talk. If there's a topic or a problem or a tip you'd like to see uh, handled in a future video, drop a comment down below and maybe we can help some people out. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, however you choose to subscribe. Maybe you're subscribing with an RSS feed reader. All the support lately has been absolutely fantastic. Those of you who are clicking on links in my video descriptions or hitting my home site, somegadgetguy.com, or maybe you've joined the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Guy. This list is basically the coolest collection of tech pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy basically everywhere. But these days, I'm trying to spend more time on the sites that don't algorithmically ratchet your content so I can keep track of my friends better. Funnily, that's kind of looking more like a Mastodon and Flickr strategy. Spending a lot less time on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and definitely not on the Twitters. And I will catch you all on the next video.